All right, so now I want to read some likely spam. Uh, my man Fred the other day uh, said I'm deleting comments, and, and I literally only I don't delete comments unless they're racist or anti-Semitic. Um, I don't, I don't even, I don't, I'm sure there's some comments that are anti-Christian, which I I tend to leave those out there because I think that's the challenge that we have Christians have is to deal with that kind of stuff and be able to uh, to respond accordingly. I won't. Uh, I will delete anti-Muslim ones for sure. The anti-Semitic stuff, I, I just it's so it's, it's, it's you're small-minded to do that, and I don't want small-minded people here. Um, but anyway, I don't delete any comments unless they're racist or anti-Semitic. Yeah, that's all there is to it. So I don't. But there is this thing called likely spam, uh, which YouTube puts some of these comments in likely spam. And that, Frank, I had forgotten about this until I watched Curtis's uh, Curtis Stone the urban uh, farmer uh, talk about uh, his likely spam. I said, oh yeah, I got to look at that. So anyway, let's, let's read through some of these. I think it would be interesting. Uh, so we got Fred Clinton responding to my home equity line of credit. Careful thing. So let's see what we got here. He says, yeah, so he, they may, uh, we'll delete that because he has a, uh, a lot of friends contact the GMA. That's a, that's a hack. Uh, so, uh, All right, so Jerry, so that uh, Scott, that's not a hack. So I know this guy, so that's not a hack. So we're going to prove that. Learn how to recondition your uh, old dead batteries, car batteries, motorcycle tools back to 100% of the original working conditions and save thousands of dollars over the lifetime of your family. All right, there you go. That doesn't sound so bad. So I'm going to prove that. And then here's my man, Fred, who says, that was already proved in there. How can I be so out to lunch? So Fred's my... Uh, He's my my worried sort about uh, recessions and whatnot, and I, you know, a bunch of stuff to be worried about. Look, just because you're worried doesn't make you a doomsdayer, but uh, I just am not that worried about it. But anyway, he says, "How can you be so far out to lunch? Do lowering interest rates is always a pre precursor to recession? You know, it's, it's just that's not. Uh, it's, it's time to hurt Trump as much as possible. Rising interest rates also portend to a rising stock market. That's not true. It's." Uh. All right, so Fred's saying lowering lowering interest rates is always a precursor to a recession, uh, and he's saying it's time to hurt Trump. But as rising interest rates always also portend a rising stock market, it's simply not the case, man. This oh, stop trading one hundred and one is don't fight the Fed. What that meant is when Fed is raising, get out of stocks. They're not saying when Fed is raising, get into stocks. Is don't fight the Fed. When Fed is raising, that hurts stocks. And inherently, it makes sense because that makes bonds more valuable because they pay more interest. Ah, and just look at history, just the recent history in the 1970s. Where were the rates way high? What was the stock markets? It was down to nine. The P.E. ratio was eight and nine at the late 70s. That's why Business Week had their infamous thing, the death of equities. Uh, if the Fed hadn't stepped in in the late September, you wouldn't be able to get cash out of an ATM. That's, okay, I just, I don't think I... I think I already approved that because I remember reading this. You, you could have. You, I, I, you absolutely could have got cash out of a bank. Are there a few banks that were struggling? Yeah, the vast majority of banks are not. Uh, I don't know. It looks like this guy's just got a, a Google root Reuters. What an inv inverted yield curve means for recession. Well, we've been talking about that for the last year. We haven't had a recession. All right, so let's approve that. Silver Gold says he couldn't review. Why is that? Yeah, okay. All right, I don't get why some of these. All right. Uh, Active investor, we got, so we're going to delete that one. Uh, according to the Vostok ICE records, this is my video, climate science is settled. Oh, climate, climate change, science is settled. According to Vostok ICE core records, CO2 levels uh, changes have followed Earth's overall temperature change. Yeah, exactly. That's that's what has been always been. They haven't been able to disprove that. Increasing weather is higher CO2. Increasing heat, higher CO2. Not higher CO2, increasing heat. That's, there's absolutely... That means our current CO2 levels are the result of Earth's overall temperature 800 years ago and warming a little bit. World leaders have convinced the dependents that this works in reverse. Yep, I agree. And, the, and the, here is a link to the Carbon Dioxide Information Analysis Center. There you go. That's pretty cool. Good stuff, man. All right, Jason Mellon. I um, love it. So I'll prove that. The uh, The interesting thing is, is like is watching uh, Judith Curry saying it's these people act like we have this knob that we can turn on or turn up turn down or turn up uh, CO2 levels, and that will change the environment. Uh, just the uh, the level of arrogance, we just turn this knob, and we, we as human beings will change the temperature. Actually, hold on just a second.
This from a science.com, how stuff works. How much energy in a hurricane, a volcano, or an earthquake? That, this is what cracks me up. So the left, the climate alarmists say there's this knob for CO2. We can just turn it and everything will result how we want it to be. So let's take a look at how much energy is in a hurricane, shall we? Because this whole once you see this, you're like, uh, yeah, we don't have any control. Let's start with hurricanes, where there are low-pressure eye and multitudes of thunderstorms spinning around it. You probably know that these large tropical cyclones are releasing a lot of energy, but how much is a lot? Well, that depends on how much you measure it, but any way you slice it, hurricanes release a phenomenal amount of energy. If we start by looking at just the energy generated by the winds, we find that for a typical mature hurricane, we get numbers in the range of... <laughs> A lot of joules, let's just put it that way. That is the equivalent to about half of the total electrical generation capacity on the planet for a single hurricane. I mean, 1.5 times 10 to 12 power watts or 1.3 times 10 to 17 power joules a day. That is the equivalent to half of the total generation for electricity on the planet for one single hurricane. That's freaking insane, dude. It's the same, but we could just turn this knob for copper dioxide. But that's not all. We're just getting started. A hurricane also releases energy through the formation of clouds and rain. It takes energy to evaporate all that water. Water vapor. Ah, no. If we crunch the numbers for an average hurricane, uh, 1.7 meters a day of rain, circles rate. Okay, we get a gigantic amount of energy. Uh, this is equivalent to about 200 times the total electrical generation capacity on the planet. NASA, NASA says that during its life cycle, a hurricane can expend as much energy as 10,000 nuclear bombs. Remember how they're trying to say, Trump said he was going to nuke the a hurricane. A hurricane, an average hurricane can generate the amount of energy as 10,000 nuclear bombs. It's insane, man. All right, so we got uh, Jay, something, Jay Soy. So is a soy boy? I don't know. Okay, touche. If you guess I am not a climate science, you're correct. I'm an engineer, but to give example, a quick Google search. I said, okay, we'll just, I, I don't know what to write for you. That was a B of awesome in there. All right. All right. So anyway, uh, Tom Tom. All right, so here. So Tom Tom said about his uh, T. Rowe Price funds that have beaten the market. These funds beat the index on the one three life by a long shot. Okay, yeah, like I said, I've never. And Tom Tom's, you know, he's on the live stream. Never said there was no way to beat the market. Just you can't predict in advance. And all, obviously, some funds inherently must beat the market. It is you have to have funds that beat the market. You can't predict them in the long run. Uh, here's Chris says an easy surefire way to save here, save electric. Okay, and here we go again. And here we go again. Somehow the extreme irony of this coming from the Houston Chronicle must be lost in this crowd. Okay, Josh, you win. More guns for everybody and less regulation on frackers because I'm sure they wouldn't let that stuff leak out of the wellheads. I mean, why would they if it costs them money? Besides, I'd much rather trust the oil business folks over socialist, lefty, communist, Marxist. Uh, please Google methane leak on CO2. Then pick, I don't know, any of the dang results and check for yourself. This is not hard. Okay. Um, why would I... So this is straw man. Uh, we should trust either the oil company or the Marxist. Okay. In the long run, uh, uh, active management typically performs better. That's the whole thing. Tom Tom says, in the long run, active management typically performs better as long as you do a little research. Uh, I think I already, that should have already improved. Uh, my man Worm Casting uh, says, the assault weapons ban of 2019 gets committee vote this week. We'll approve that. Did not know that. Uh, I just read that California does not tax Social Security, so I'm not sure how accurate this is. And I said, no, I said that. So he said he didn't read the whole thing. He commented, but he didn't watch the whole video. Uh, Germany, civilized Germany, roll your eyes, and Angela Merkel. Uh, boycott Germany, said Jonas Ark. Uh, San Antonio Entertainment Show. Unfortunately, he knows very little bit about cash life, cash value life insurance. Okay, so here's a life insurance salesman who says, I know very little about cash value life insurance. If you are young, you can build a tremendous amount of cash for retirement, a tremendous amount for say hundred bucks a month, and you do not need to pay premiums all your life with cash value life insurance never increases. And he was right about the rich is one of the best. All right, all right well, I'll, I'll put that in there. Uh, go to James Durr. Problem with cash value life insurance is the life insurance. Like the problem with Christians is the Christians as life insurance proponents. I just, I don't know how you get around with the fact that 
Uh, that's what they said 25 years ago. And there's so many cash value life insurance policies about to blow up in people's faces. And the people who bought them had no clue. Uh, FinBrain Technologies provides stock commodities. Yeah, we're going to get rid of that because that is thin, FinBrain Technologies is promoting his own stuff. All right, so here is safe retirement planning means knowing the alarmist propaganda. Uh, let's assume you're correct and the climate scientists are all wrong. Uh, we may have convincing evidence of their error and tenure. Well, we have evidence all over the place that they've been wrong. And that, that just uh, bores me. I love your teaching stuff. Why don't they have, put that one back? Uh, we'll delete that. So let's see. Who is most qualified to depend on the real bottom line? Tax liability is my biggest concern. All right, we'll just put that on there. Uh, it seems to me, Bob, old Bob's back on here again. We'll put him, I don't want to read that, but Bob, nah, nah, hardcore absolute fact. If stock market crashes, loss of profits over time and hourly income decreases for more Americans and Americans cannot afford gouge, price housing, lose home and forced to move to apartments. Apartment rent goes up for designated area due to increase force. Okay. Recession has been going on 2007. Oh, boy. All right, so we'll just approve that. Anytime there's like four paragraphs, I just say, yep. And I agree how uh, Al Gore should be an example of an end of, and again, we just go there. We'll just approve that. Uh, look at Pablo, so Jews. Why would they hold that one up? I don't know. Thanks for the information. Uh, stand up to climate change fear mongers. And I'll put that as a yes on there. Richard Keene rebukes the United, United Nations Civil Society Conference. I'll put a thing on there. All right. Uh, Black World Traver says, people say live like a king, but never explain what that even means. What exactly is that? What is your version of living like a king? I've been to 57 countries and so far revisited and spent more than two months and a half. Uh, no many expats. I just have the financial freedom to do what I want. So someone finally explained living like a king, only met people who dream talk about it. Well, I think it's having all your food, having clean water, food, and electricity. That's what I would say. All right. Uh, taking the emotions out of it, says my man Harry. The facts seem clear. In 2018, U.S. companies from McDonald's to KFC to Apple sold over $2 billion of goods and services to the 1.4 Chinese uh, consumers. All right. These facts are facts. An objective view of the facts bring me to the obvious conclusion. They will surpass us as the largest economy. I don't think so, but whatever. Uh, yeah, anytime, so, anytime, so, look at this. So here's there's definite spam. So we're going to delete that. Insurance loan, donate electricity credit. Right. Oh, yeah, that's right. My man Harry said even Western economists agree that China will surpass America's largest economy within four to ten years. Okay, I, I literally could care less, but what Western economists said is because of Nobel Prize winner Paul Samuelson also said the same thing about the commie Russians in 1989. He was wrong, so I could care less. Uh, what day do I put my funds in to lessen the blow of the recession? I don't know, so I don't believe in the recession. We got FinBrain Technologies again. You can visit our site for more. What about negative interest rates? I talked about it a million times a Sunday. Recover from colon cancer. Please share and donate. No, I'm not going to do that. Uh, you also have 7.6 on this income. Uh, <laughs> scientists say you're supposed to be at the grip steering wheel at 10 and 12 o'clock. No, they changed that now. It's not 10 and 2 anymore, Robert. Uh, Rob, they changed that. Uh, <laughs> uh, so there we go. We're just going to, I think we're done here. Anyway, it's kind of funny. All right, so Rob, Fred, what is a lot? The U.S. became the world's largest oil producer in 2013. Of course, we export oil. It's called a free market. Oil goes the highest bidder. All right. uh, realistic is better to plan for 30 years and not need it than not to have. I don't have any problem with that. You got to do what you got to do. It doesn't bother me. Uh, all right, so let's, uh, that's pretty much it. The quit, Let's see. All right, I'm pretty much done here. All right, so. Uh, just figure I'd share some of that with you. But I do get these likely spam stuff. And, you know, sometimes I don't know who gets in here, why. Here's my man, Jimmy, Jimmy Paget. Here's this guy. Thanks. Uh, where is my Social Security? I don't know who Brett, that guy is. Join last day. So, and this guy keeps saying, boink. There's Sean Mann. All right. I think we can delete this guy from, yeah, report spam or abuse. There we go. 
support spam or abuse. Cool, man. All right. So anyway, I hope if you if you put a thing in here, I don't go through here and read these that much just because it frankly bores me. But uh, anyway, if you're wondering if I do um, uh, delete comments, I do not. Um, a lot of them get approved, but there are some that go into spam and I just I check it literally very few often, very not very often. So I will right, we'll see you guys.